Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the weekend and week ahead brought to you exclusively by Fly Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching on Thursday the 13th of January and um, we're going to be chasing cloud around over the next few days. Um, got some fog too, that's going to be pretty dense in places. Bit tricky to pinpoint exactly where that is, although we are getting some help at the, help at the moment, which I'll show you in just a second. Over Scotland, we've got some cloud and some rain at times there. Generally, for all of us, is going to be light winds. Now, one of the places that we're getting help from um, for predicting where fog is going to be is from uh, the high resolution uh, model, which um, highlights fog quite well. So we're using the uh, high resolution of the UK Met Office model, which you can find at weatherweb.net. Those of you who are premium members already will know um, that you can get access to this. So um, you get it by going to forecasts and uh, you click on to aviation or weather. And you'll then find, if you scroll down, all the various different charts that you can use. You see that we've got cloud ceiling forecasts, we've got um, forecast weather as well, which tells you where fog is going to be. And then we've got visibility forecast down here. So what we're looking at here then is um, we're looking for red colours, which are fog. Orange between is between 1,000 to 2,000 2, metres. Yellow is 2 to 4 kilometres. 4 to 8 kilometres is the green colour. So basically anywhere where we're seeing colour on these maps, we need to be aware that there's a risk of fog. So you see it there on Thursday morning, then it clears away during the day. But look how it comes back again overnight Thursday into Friday across much of uh, Ireland, Northern Wales, across much of Southern England as well. And indeed it stays through Friday morning, reforms overnight into Saturday as well. And uh, by Sunday though, most of it is gone. So certainly some foggy weather um, is likely over the coming days. And as I say, that's all part of the WeatherWeb Premium Service. If you go to weatherweb.net and uh, get a forecast, click on Aviation Weather. There's actually an offer on there at the moment where you can get uh, six months for the price of five. Just click on the link that you see here. OK, so that's helping us make these visibility predictions for the weekend. But it's always very tricky. Something that we talk about at uh, Weather School. I've got one place left on uh, Aviation Weather School on the 5th and the 12th of February. It's the consecutive Saturday mornings of the 5th and the 12th of February, presented live online by me. And uh, it'd be great to see you there. Go to weatherschool.co.uk if you'd like to book that place uh, right now. Um, great week. I've had got some flying in, and you probably saw that uh, on the Instagram site at Weather School UK. Great time flying up to Slate. The weather was pretty fantastic as well. Just take a look at that. That was post-frontal, so behind the front, uh, as we uh, flew up to Slape. Thanks to the guys at Slape for such a fantastic uh, welcome that you gave us. Hopefully you got some flying in this week as well. And I do think you'll get some in as we get through this weekend, if you haven't managed to get out there um, during the week. So this is um, Thursday. You see that we've got high pressure uh, dominating things on Thursday. We've got some fog that we need to be thinking about across many parts of England and Wales, but more of a southwesterly flow across Scotland with some cloud and drizzle affecting western areas. But elsewhere, actually, probably becoming flyable through the afternoon. That fog should clear. Slant visibility may be a little bit poor, though. On to Friday, high pressure again in control. So once again, as we saw on those visibility forecasts, we've got to be thinking about fog. Pretty dense in places, slow to clear away. It will clear from most areas, but... Given that high over the top of us on Friday and that there's quite a bit of moisture around, I'm a little bit uncertain that um, it's going to clear from everywhere. I do think it will stick around. Again, slant visibility could be a bit of a problem. It might be nice going for a, a local flight um, and, and should become OK. Generally clearish skies, but again, I'm just a little bit uncertain about how much cloud there'll be around. Some drizzle across northern and northwestern parts of Scotland here, non verifiable because of that cloud. I'd rather tell you if I'm uncertain of the forecast than exactly how things are going to shape up. So, you know, Friday's one of those days. Saturday, um, still got high pressure hanging around towards the south. So still a risk of some fog here. Um, low cloud and drizzle, possibly affecting western coasts and hills. I think generally non verifiable here, probably OK Central Ireland, Probably becoming OK eastern Scotland, eastern parts of the UK. No basis as such to be particularly worrying about. Cloud generally broken. I think this fog across the southeast should gradually clear away as well. 
as the day progresses. So an improving situation, but again, quite murky, um, particularly that slant visibility, a bit of a problem. Sunday, high pressure still over the south, fog still potentially a problem. Wales, central, southern parts of England. That again should be clearing away and we should get more broken clouds. So I'm going to say it's flyable. <sighs> Base is about two to 3,000 feet, tops about 5,000 feet. Just uncertain about that, though. So just keep your eye on the forecast. It looks OK. Local flying, again, I'd be fairly happy with, but it's just that risk of some fog around. Cold front <clears throat> moving its way southwards through Scotland, bringing some cloud, perhaps a few spots of rain here. Marginal to non-VFR with the bases at 2,000 feet, tops at 10,000 feet on that front. And then into next week, Monday, high pressure off towards the west. A better day probably for Monday. Again, though, I think some fog, eastern Ireland, western parts of Wales, southwest England, possibly western Scotland. Certainly more flyable central and eastern areas with that northwesterly flow. Bases 3,000 feet, tops about 6,000 feet. And then for Tuesday, high pressure over the top again. So again, we could be going back into uh, a fog type situation during the course of Tuesday and um, yeah that again slow to clear away but once it has shouldn't be too bad a day and then for Wednesday again mist and fog and maybe a problem in the south but that lifts it clears and then we go into generally flyable conditions across many southern areas some rain across northern and western parts of Scotland making for non-VFR here elsewhere marginal conditions uncertain of those cloud amounts around again but there may be some flyable weather in there as well. So sorry to be a bit vague about this one and about what's going to constitute flying uh, and flying conditions during the course of this weekend. It is just still a little bit on the iffy side. I will update you, though, uh, with the fly team live at 7.30 tonight. I'll bring up the latest of those visibility maps so you can make your own assessment as to where the fog is likely to be. OK, I will leave you with that for now. Thanks for um, letting me witter on. Thanks for letting me show you the photographs of uh, the flying that um, I got done during the course of this week. Don't forget, if you want that place at Aviation Weather School, it'll be great to see you there. It's a fab course. It's really relax. It'll help you. No, no, it'll show you how you can understand weather much better. Go to weatherschool.co.uk and uh, you can book your place now. Basically, it's about confidence. It's about building your confidence in the weather. OK, um, I'll leave you with that for now. Wittering on too long. Thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.